everyone, I'm Daria. Today I'm going to teach you how to steam your raffia bucket hat. Welcome back to Daria Crochet Life. On this channel I post knitting and crochet lessons, simple and not so simple tutorials on how to make different knitting and crochet projects. So if any of that interests you, please subscribe to my channel. All right. When you finish crocheting your raffia hat, in my example this is a bucket hat, I have a tutorial on my channel, so you are very welcome to check it out. Uh, you need to do something with the hat because the uh, stitches are not very smooth, uh, not very nice. Uh, even though raffia holds the shape nicely, uh, but it would be better if you can starch uh, your bucket hat. So that's why for today's um, tutorial, we will need an iron, ironing board, um, hand towel, little hand towel, and it would be good if you can find something like that. I don't know if, if this brand uh, still exists. You need to check uh, like your grocery store. I ordered this um, starch on Amazon. So I uh, am, I'm putting my iron on the like the most uh, the, the hottest uh, mode so in my case it's those three dots and it stays on the uh, on steam on steam mode as well so the first thing that we need to do I'll let my iron to uh, uh, to heat a little bit so we will need to steam uh, the head before uh, before using the starch uh, and first thing, I want to protect this uh, foam head. Uh, if you don't have the foam head, that's okay. You can you can use just a towel, but it's obviously easy to work with the foam heads. And I store my heads, uh, my like all my raffia heads, uh, during the year. I store them on the foam heads. Uh, they're not expensive. I got it from Dollarama or you can check some craft stores or Amazon as well. So in order to protect the foam uh, head, I'm going to put the towel on top of it and then uh, put it on the head. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to steam uh, this, uh, like the circle, the original circle that we were doing. And it's very easy. I know the traffic is just a paper, but you can, like, I tried it many times. You see, I'm actually touching, my iron is actually touching the head, so no worries, you'll be okay. And you need to steam this uh, top of the head, like that. Okay, so after that you can take the starch, uh, this kind of starch you need to shake well and it should be around 30 centimeters distance between the head and the starch and then you just spray it like that and you steam again like this. So now the, uh, the top is a little bit wet, as you can see, but that's okay. Um, when it will be dry, it will hold the shape nicely. So let me explain you what to do if you don't have this uh, foam head. In this case, like option number one, what you can do when you still crochet your head after finishing the first circle before moving further, you can steam it. That would be very easy. The same idea, just put it on the ironing board and steam it. But if you already finished your head, so you can make, uh, maybe you'll need a little bigger, uh, bigger uh, towel for that. You make a roll like that, you put it uh, inside. Uh, yeah, you need bigger towel for that, for sure. And then you steam it as well. Or you can use a big jar, or maybe you have a, uh, a vase, whatever. So something uh, that you can put your head on. But uh, I really recommend you to buy this uh, foam head. Okay, so after that, uh, we don't need this head anymore. After that, we can work on the, on the sides of the head. 
and it's very easy I just put it on the ironing board like that okay and first once again we need just to steam it so it's very easy and I roll it and I not steam it actually ironing it so you see I'm touching it you can do it from the right side you can do it from the wrong side I did it like all like all the way and you see I, I'm doing it before attaching any decorations on the head so I don't have any uh, ribbons attached so okay I think I ironed it all over the place uh, all over the head and now you can do this thing so you can um, you can iron it from the wrong side actually it would be better to do from both sides like this okay already looking good uh, and then we can take uh, we can take the starch again and I'm gonna starch it the same way so spray a little bit and iron it spray a little bit and iron super easy Usually uh, one coat is enough, but if you want, you can do the same thing from the wrong side of the head as well. But usually I do just one of this, like right side or wrong side, doesn't matter. And it would be a little bit wet, that's okay. So I think I went all over, all around. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think I think it's really good right now. But as I said, if you want, you can repeat the, the process from the wrong side. So I'm gonna starch a little bit and do the same thing from the wrong side. Uh, sometimes uh, when, you, like especially in summer, the weather can be very humid or if you go um, on vacation and the like air is very humid so your raffia heads can uh, lose their shape so that's okay after uh, going back home you can always repeat this process so you can always starch it more you can always steam it uh, no problem and remember that you cannot wet your raffia uh, you cannot like it doesn't like <laughs> uh, water so be very careful don't go swimming in your raffia heads and don't put them on uh, rainy day all right so I think I went all over and after that I'm taking the after that I need to take the uh, foam head again and I'm putting it on the head so it will dry nicely and it will hold the shape okay that's it that I wanted to show you today after you uh, steam and um, starch your raffia hat you can attach any decorations any ribbons or flowers whatever you want uh, leave uh, the hat to dry a little bit like that and you, you will feel when it's completely dry so then you can put it on Thank you so much for being with me today. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions, if you have any requests on how to uh, crochet or need any kind of projects, that will mean a lot for me. Uh, and please check uh, out my tutorial on how to crochet this uh, raffia bucket hat. I'm sure you will like it because surprisingly, this hat fits everyone. I didn't uh, see a person who, um, like who doesn't like this kind of hat so I, I tried on a lot of people and it fits everyone so give it a try 
please leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. It will mean a lot. Thank you so much. Have a nice crocheting. Bye-bye.